Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody, let's take a look again at the forex markets. Well guys, in general, uh, currently as Greece still stands in indecision, the euro currency also stands uh, in decision as well in the range of the last Monday when we said, uh, recall this uh, huge gap down open uh, two weeks ago uh, and uh, we said in our recent analysis that dedicated to the euro currency that until your currency will stand inside this range of this huge candle, I will show you. Until this moment, uh, no direction will be chosen by the market. So I mean this range of this candle in the euro currency. And you can see that market still stands inside of it. Until breakout will happen, no direction will be chosen. So currently that's why we do not have many reasons to talk on the euro currency. Uh, we could, in general, ex repeat the same about this possible upward bar butterfly, downward butterfly, depending on what, what will happen here. But this will be a bit uh, future perspective for your currency, because currently we do not know the major thing. Uh, what will happen on the uh, meeting that is coming on the current week, uh, emergen emergency meeting uh, where the Prime Minister Cyprus should announce the possible offerings to uh, creditors. Uh, and until this will happen, this market will stand inside the range. Uh, it's not very interesting for us. The, on the Great British Pound analysis, it also stands approximately the same. So, market still coiling around the lower border of the big wedge pattern, and nothing has happened yet. That's why uh, today we have decided again to talk on the Canadian dollar because Canadian dollar shows some progress and uh, our analysis, recent analysis needs to be updated. So take a look at the daily chart of the Canadian. Uh, recall what we have said. In, in general we have expected here some retracement down. But as news from the Greece was a bit uh, warning and uh, crude oil has continued to move down, the Canadian dollar yesterday has shown the significant upward action. It's a bit to increase the scale. Right here. Although we have expected that maybe market will show some bounce because the market was at the very bad, very close to the very bad. This was also resistance. Yes, some minor bounce has happened, but it was really not in the beginning of the current week, but uh, in the middle of the last week. And uh, right now, market is continuing to move high without any significant retracement. It just means that a market probably will show some retracement after it will complete this A, B, C, D pattern. And this should happen somewhere around 2770. It's approximately 100, 100 bucks to the upside. Sorry, 100 pips to the upside. Uh, and after that, when the market will reach this area, some retracement could follow as the just respect of the completion of the A, B, C, D. This retracement could be different. Maybe market will just retest this trend line and continue to move higher. Maybe retracement will be a bit more significant. It's not really very important for us. But such sort of action that we see right now keeps our analysis well and our expectation of the further upward action. You probably may, may argue it said that we could get, for example, got this triple to sell. So that was initial for us down ABCD retracement. Well, by shape. This really could be some kind of the guard is triple to sell. Uh, but if you'll take a look at the background of the current situation on the Canadian dollar, we have discussed this in our weekly research. If you'll take a look on the high time frame charts, you will see that the ch chances, the probability of such sort of the reversal right now is not really significant. Theoretically, it could happen, and by shape, uh, market could form this pattern. But uh, the shape of uh, on the on the chart is not in, doesn't include the everything we need to see on the high time frame chart we need to see the fundamental part sentiment analysis and uh, this moment's point on further upward continuation and recent action also 
point on the further upward continuation. Uh, we already have discussed this uh, situation around the testing of this trend line. And as soon as market has returned back down, uh, right back up in this consolidation, when the market returns in, back inside of the, some consolidation that has been broken previously, that is, uh, in our case, this will be the bullish sign. And uh, usually market passes through this consolidation and continue move higher. That's what we expect to see on the Canadian dollar. Meantime, in the very short term perspective, we'll be watching for this completion of this ABCD patch around 27.70. And that probably should happen soon. Uh, today, maybe tomorrow. Uh, also, guys, pay attention that market now is passing through the monthly pivot resistance one. And we know that if market breaks through the pivot resistance, uh, it means that this is not just a retracement within the bearish trend. When the market passes through the pivot resistance, it, it tells that the new trend is boring, uh, and is boring, and is born, and uh, the situation really has changed compared to the previous section. Uh, on the forward time frame chart, it's not much to comment here. I even has erased these uh, levels that we have drawn in the weekly research because I did not see many. Uh, big big sense right now to draw these levels since we expect that market will continue to move higher and levels should be uh, redrawn again. Currently, we should pay attention to this pattern. We already have discussed it. It's A, B, C bottom. And as, as soon as market has passed through the 100% extension that was right here, this was just minor retracement, and continue to move higher, we need to pay attention right now to the 1618 target. And take a look, that's really interesting that 1618 extension target. Stands at 127.80, it's approximately the same area where it stands daily ABCD target. So that's why our next destination will be probably 127.70, 127.80 area, where a market could take the pause and turn to some retracement down. That will be absolutely normal. That retracement probably should be visible on the daily chart. So maybe this will be the three retracement of the most recent leg. That's not will be not small move. For the scalp traders, this, this will be opportunity for taking the scalp short position. Uh, for daily traders, this will be the chance for taking the long with the upward continuation. Also, take a look, that will be approximately in the area of the daily ever buy. So, that's been said, our trading plan on the Canadian dollar, as market hasn't shown any retracement yesterday, it continue, continues to move directly to the next target. That's why our, our short term analysis or our short term plan suggests first step is reaching 2770 second step is watching for the retracement uh, down as a respect of this uh, target that's what we'll be watching for for during the nearest couple of sessions probably